Hi Libra, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is a deeper look into your reading. So I'm going to use another deck. So if you um, haven't watched the first video, I suggest you watch the link up there. If not, we're going to have a deeper look. So, oh, what's that? Okay, so we have... The Five of Wands in reverse. So this is inner conflict. This is a need to release an inner conflict within yourself. And that does go with the all tied up card that we got in the first reading. So it's about, it's also a five. Because I remember the said we, we, we said in the last reading that this energy is about five and is about expansion. But in terms of this five, it's about needing to release this sense. It, there's something internally that you need to release there's an energy blockage that needs to be released with the five of wands in reverse as well so we're gonna now have a look at the two of swords because this is about this decision that needs to be made this is like feeling like you're in a stalemate feeling like you're a bit hung up so I'm gonna read this with the hanged man as well because the hanged man was the last card and that signifies feeling hang hung up in a situation too needing to kind of look at things from a another perspective and now the two of swords is also about taking off the blindfold and needing to see things from another perspective as well so we're going to have some cards to clarify more about that so yes Libra got this one okay the hierophant this is about establishments this is about commitment this is about um Feeling like it could be some something that you need to go and get go for in an untraditional sense. Maybe you're looking at something very traditionally. Maybe you need to kind of reverse the hangman and look at it from another perspective, perhaps. The um, hierophant is all also about the kind of shoulds, the coulds. Um, it's, it's also about going and seeing like a guru or a, going and seeing somebody who you can get advice from. Going and seeing somebody possibly spiritual or receiving that advice. It could be that you possibly need to be your own guru in some senses. Because if you look at the Hierophant in the opposite way, then it's about... It's, it's more about going against the grain in a sense. It's about going against what you've already known. Yeah. Let's have another card for that. The Hierophant is also a five. So that is a lot of changes going on in this reading. So we've got a lot of um, court cards with the knights, the king, the queen. Two knights and a page. Yeah. And we've also got a lot of five. So there's a lot of energy in this reading. There's a lot of um, misused energy as well. Because remember we had that throne of spiders. Which is feeling like the enthusiasm has come out of something. Feeling like you're being drained by a situation. So we're going to take another card to get some more information with the Hierophant. Oh, this one. Okay. You're feeling like you have to walk away from something and it could be a decision or you're feeling possibly emotionally about something. It could also be to do with shyness as well. It could be that you're 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 walking away from making a decision, yeah? Because it could be too emotional for you. It doesn't always denote leaving something behind. It could suggest that you're running away from making a decision perhaps especially with the hierophant the two of swords and the hangman yeah it's like i feel like you're wanting to escape it's too emotional for you but what i'm also getting with this card is perhaps wait until after this full moon in the um the first of march yeah because i feel like emotionally this energy might be a bit too much for you at the moment so if you're watching this after the first of march i feel like this energy might have cleared by then because it's like i feel there's also a shyness it's like you're you're scared to make decisions and possibly you need to get advice from somebody else at the moment 
possibly you need because he's walking off or she's walking off um, to manifest elsewhere and then I've also noticed that this hierophant has got the red there so this is a manifestation of the manifestation or a help to manifest in some sense so it could be that you need to seek some sort of advice this month yeah and that could pull off this blindfold and it also takes you out of a stalemate because it allows the energy to move forward so right now you're feeling hung up but once you've got that information and once you've got that feedback that you need remember you also had let your friends help you so once you have all that information and that support, once you accept that information and that support, the hanged man then in the upright becomes enlightened, yeah? He become he's seen something from a new perspective, yeah? He's, he's, it's allowed him to come out of that sense of being hung up. So let's move on to the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups now. So... I feel that was to do with the balancing of the energy, the balancing of the masculine and the feminine for you guys this month, especially to do with that Hawthorne card, yeah? And then we had, just to recap, the King and the Queen of Cups, but they're both both very different energies. He's pulling back, she's, she's giving, yeah? So it's, let's have a look at that. Then we also had the King of Swords, which talked about the balance, yeah? Oh, that one there was quite many. Right. This is about working through things. It's about taking some time, yeah, to allow your subconscious to work through certain things. It's about taking a rest period, which also goes with that after the full moon thing, because you have a few days. Allow at least two days after the full moon, I'd say, before the energy is cleared, because... The moon holds a lot of that emotional energy. So maybe right now it's for you to take a rest. But the um, the Four of Swords is also about asking your angels, asking your guides at night before you go to sleep to help you, um, to help you deal with a situation, to give you some clarity on a situation. It's like healing while you're sleeping with this card. So there's a need to take that break. Because emotionally, it could be that things are a bit overwhelming with the King of Cups and you need to draw back. And the Four of Swords is very much about drawing back. It's about drawing back for your health needs as well. Because if you get to the Five, then it's main conflict. So you don't really want that. So it's taking that time out to rest and asking your guides to help you. Yeah, Asking them to take away some of these things while you're sleeping. So the Queen of Cups, we've got the Empress. So this is about growth. This is about abundance. This is about possibly a new beginning. You could be feeling um, a bit emotional, a bit... Um, you could be intuiting that this new beginning is about to take place as well. It can also... It is does also show a, a very feminine energy. It is about the rise of the feminine with the Empress and the Queen of Cups there. So it's saying... There is a need to maybe balance that energy. And then possibly the masculine energy comes in once you've had this rest. Because this is the feminine energy that allows you to grow something. So for some of you, you could be giving birth. You could be having, you know, giving birth to a new project even if it's not a child. But it, there's this sense of needing to rest and then comes this yang energy. Then this yang energy is going to need to come. But like I said before, if you're feeling like you've got too much energy and you're doing too much stuff at the moment, it's, it's allow yourself to be more receptive. Allow yourself to be a little bit more feminine. These are also like the oppositions because we've got the masculine, but then we've got this. But then Four of Swords is kind of masculine too because it's okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is about growth. You could be thinking about an opportunity at the moment. There could be an opportunity that you feel is going to get you out of this gate, that is going to help you do something. You could be waiting on a gift. You could be um, receiving a gift, receiving a bonus, receiving something. But I feel like you're trying to grow something. You're trying to grow possibly a new business or new finances in order to do something. We did have the all tied up card, which could be about waiting for contracts as well. So you are in this growth stage, but it's like you're trying to balance your emotions while you're in this growth stage. 
So the Nine of Swords, we don't really need a clarifier for that. That's just swords, anguish, that's mental thoughts that are just going round and round. We do have the moon in the centre. These are things that are hidden, things about, the, things about a situation that we're not quite seeing yet. Okay, balance, we have temperance. This is waiting for the right alchemy, waiting for the divine timing. This is, there's some kind of timing at play. You're not supposed to see everything, but don't allow your fears to get the better of you because the moon is like, you can see this as a dog, but then in the other light, it feels like a wolf. So it's about allowing yourself this process of getting into that balance of energy, balancing that energy between your masculine and feminine, yeah? Balancing your fears between your growth, because you're wanting to grow right now, yeah? We also have the Page of Swords. Let's have a clarifier. And I feel like that was to do with feeling like it was a new start in a situation, feeling like you may be the underdog in a situation. We have the two of pentacles here. So it could be that you could be balancing something. You could be balancing a lot at the moment. You could be juggling it and it could be making you very defensive with the page of swords. Yeah, it's feeling like you're, uh, don't allow yourself to out at the moment don't allow yourself to be too critical of yourself either because it's about balancing yourself in that moment yeah it's about allowing yourself to transcend this yeah and allowing yourself to just focus on that center happiness that center moment in order to live in the now rather than the worry of the future the worry of the past we don't live in the future we don't live in the past all we have is the present yeah but yet again i see your ships you know that there's ships coming in you know that you have things coming in but there's just slight delays so we have the knight of cups which is this offer that's coming in that could be romance that could be creativity. It could be dreams as well, especially with the Four of Swords there. It could be asking you to watch out for your dreams. New start. I feel like you're going to get... It could either be a relationship that comes in and offers you a new start. Or it could be something that, something that you assign. Yeah, It's following the signs. Yeah, Allowing yourself to have that leap of faith as well. It's about wanting an environment that's a little bit more artistic or a little bit more creative for you. It's about going out and finding that, yeah? We then have the Knight of Swords. So we're going to take some clarifiers for that before the hangman. But I feel like that's you wanting to move forward, but it's like the energy's stuck or you're stuck. You're feeling a little bit tied up. The emperor, yeah? It's saying that there's a need to take leadership. This is also to do with the masculine energy. This represents the father. It also represents um, Aries. So there's a need to take leadership in, in a situation. But like I said, or to seek advice as well, because he's very logical. He could be somebody that you'd go to for advice as well. He could be somebody that would sign contracts for you or... Um, he could be your boss, he could be your employer, but it's also that, that masculine energy of needing to move when it's time to move, yeah? Needing to see the signs, and then once it's time, it's about going for it then. Let's take another card, just to kind of wrap things up. What can we do? We can give that up for a start. That's another nine of swords. That's your fears. Yeah. That is taking a lot of your energy right now. And then we got the magician. Once you get in balance, Libra, you have the choice of these two energies. Yeah. We have temperance and we you have the choice. The magician is about take look he has everything he needs as above so below what you're what you're thinking on the inside is going to manifest on the outside it's very important that you stay balanced you stay happy and you keep positive right now that is so important and once that moon clears it will allow you to make a great decision so i hope this has helped take care stay blessed thanks for watching